Hello and welcome to IR 2017. You join us here in the first point of the game. Our GB mix, men's, sorry, our GB men's masters dream got a lot of love yesterday, and so we're doing it again. This is a big game for both sides, and that was a huge deal. Money under, money under, money under. Inside, inside. Pull weight with the dish now. Fix that meat. Felix on, get right on, on the edge of the pitch. Around, Good work from Shardlow. Looking upfield. Shardlow puts up the disc and finds the gap. Excellent work there from GP. They're 1 0 up, and that's a break. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry. They started, didn't they? Fair point. GP 1 0 up. The format of this is very important. Australia needs to win by more than one to come second in the pool. Otherwise, I think GB will come top. GB, if they lose by one, will come second. Or if they win, straight. Tony, they only have that loss to the USA team we saw earlier. I'm fairly sure it's the Czech Republic, the other team in this pool. GB carried the win through from the freeway tie into the later stages. And Czech Republic beat Australia in one, by one point yesterday. Australia looking to put it in. Swing the disc around. His hands in the hammer grip. He goes for the backhand. Really nice around break by Australia. It's being changed to 2 0. Uh, an excellent score there. Alistair Don with the disc, putting the disc around the back. Good work, our boy. Now one all. Fifteen seconds. This is a big game for the GB men's masters team and the Australian men's masters team. They're saying a, a victory by more than one point for Australia, which is in second in the group. Otherwise, GB will take it. Czech Republic currently playing USA in the other game in this group in a match that doesn't mean anything in a three-way tie goal difference. If Australia don't win, they will end up fourth. GB, put it long. Here we go. Good D by Australia. He's going to stand me here. <laughs> Joe Bampton with the D there for Australia. This goes long. An excellent bid by Neil Roxburgh, not able to take the disc down. Shardlow looking at the field now. Dan Berry on the disc. It's inside. Will Cornelius looking at field. Puts the disc high. Who will it find? Foul call on the play there. Berry thought he got the disc cleanly. Disagreement from James Moulinshot of Australia. We will be entirely neutral here on the commentary, but feel free to add your comments and thoughts as the comments on the stream.
the players involved are saying they didn't have a clear perspective. They were too involved in the challenge. Couldn't tell if it was a foul or not. They asked, they asked the sideline. Australia refact, retract the foul call. The disc will go back to Dan Berry, but... He called a foul, but didn't think he had a clear enough perspective to make it certain, wanted to check. Absolutely fair, and then retracts it once he's realised that what the, the situation that had occurred. Good spirit from Australia there. Looking for the quick score, finds Herman Kaiser. It's a lovely patient score from GB. That's a very difficult position to be in. You've already scored once, and then you're back on the sideline, you're back on the end zone line again, needing the same pass. And it's not an easy pass as well, it's an around break backhand. GB, though, executing it clinically. That will make the score 2 1 to GB in blue, Australia in yellow. I'm guessing you didn't need me to tell you that. Don't worry, it won't happen again. So being blown by the volunteers here in Rouen. Signaling GB you need to take the point. Take the pull. Take it they do. Australia are working it forward now. Temple swings inside. Looking long. Wanting a bailout. Eventually finds it. And Alistair Don turning the disc there for Australia. GB want to take advantage. They're 2 1 up. Can they get the break? This put long, Christian Bobby Zamore takes it down. Chris White with the disc over the top then, backing his receiver, two Australian defenders. This is one thing you'll notice in the men's masters division is every player can read the disc very well. They have much more experience, can get under it. If any disc floats, there will be defenders there. Yeah. That was popular last time. If you want to add any comments as it goes, feel free. <laughs> Apologies there, I think a little bit of a weak connect can accidentally cause us to cut out. <laughs> Been very strong up to now so far, so I think it's just a one-time thing. GB 3-1 up against Australia after the break in the last point. Australia wanting to convert now. Tight, tight, away please. Get on his fourth out. no I out. no I out. No iron, no break, Dave! And just goes up! Yeah! What a D! Fantastic work from Alan Harding there. GB now working it forward. GB wanting to put it long, faking it. Joe Bampton taking it in the middle for GB. It's going up long now. Boring choices! GB on the edge now, and <laughs> Joe Bannon with the score. Again, apologies for cutting out. 
Maybe it was bad Wi-Fi. Maybe I pressed the finish button accidentally. Who knows? All the knows is you'll get much better streams on Fancy.com. For now, though, you're stuck with me if you want this game. It's now 4-1. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, hustle D. TV put the disc right to the back of the Australia end zone and they start to put it forward, moving it sweetly. There's a long shot available, but Australia don't take it. GB playing a little bit of a zone, marking the far man, but that's the gap. GB was playing a free man, essentially a free man cup with a short deep. Leave space in the far wing and Australia find it again. Excellent experience, they know exactly where to find the gap in this play. After two excellent hammers to find space, it's sadly a backhand that Australia turn on. <laughs> GB looking upfield now. And they're showing they can do some hammers of their own. It's over the hands of Chris White. And Australia not able to quite co it toe it in, landing on the line there. And Nathan Chan there with the attempted toe in and then the assist. This will make the score 4 2. Treasure it. It'll be forty. GB and you. GB and USA both set up now. This goes up. Home, home, home. Comes down. GB, get it moving quickly. Felix puts it long, trying to find Kaiser. Australia with the bid. That was Luke Stevens with the D there for Australia. Acknowledging the foul rather than the strip, and so the foul was the uncontested. And there's a discussion now about exactly whether it's a foul or a strip. Still 4 2 here. Two players on the disc have actually agreed what's occurred. It's only the downfield players that are discussing it. 
<laughs> Shardlow insisting on keeping arguing the point there. Nearly everyone on the pitch has agreed here. This is Felix Shardlow over the air, Herman Kaiser for GB with the desk. And we finally get back into play here. And Kaiser turns. Some clear irritation from the GB side there. Australia now looking upfield. Hoagie's backhand pop. Foul on the play. Shadow not contesting. Australia now looking upfield. It's high. There's players from both sides under it, and what a grab! Injury! Injury! What a grab from Felix Shardlow there, but appears a player may have been injured in the process. This is Dave Povey coming off the field. He's had a couple of injury problems so far as well, I believe. Pointing out that injuries will return to the point at which the injury occurred. No gain, Felix will stay with the desk. Al's coming under! Shadow selling off. Paul, Paul Waits, also known as Voodoo, has come on for the injured Dave Pogi. Under, under. Come on, Boothie. Boothie, come on. Come in, boy. Looking up field now, he takes the around backhand. Kaiser looking inside, needing, a, needing an option. Will Cornelius comes back, helps out the team. Paul Waits having to get big to get the disc. Finds the inside break to Shardlow. Disc goes on. Go left, go left. And Kaiser takes the disc under Australian pressure. Very physical from Tim Booth of Australia, but Kaiser catches through it. <laughs> What's the tape for? For Felix. For oh. Felix. Let's go, boys. Head in this game. One knee. Man in each corner. Tape for Felix. <laughs> One way or another, you're not going to enjoy watching that back, Felix. Let's go. Was I right on that? Um, I think the fact that the two players involved had settled it meant that that should take priority. But... Yeah, I think that would, that would be fine. Australia now with the disc moving it forward. So we get it inside. 
GB are playing a cup here again. They have three men in the cup and two wings who are acting both as deeps and short deeps. Australia trying to work through it. They were able to break down the cup very well before with a couple of hammers. Can they do the same again? Finding the gap through the cup. And it's beyond the hands of the Australian player. He gets big and horizontal to try and save it, but it's too much for the number 17. GB now looking big. Joe Bamba on the disc. Looks long. What a goal. GB spike in celebration. That makes the score now 6 2 to GB. That was a yes, Devon chant, wasn't it? It definitely was. Well, I know we've got a couple of uh, Devon people on the street. Well, we had, we had Cowboy and Mojo on that point, didn't we? So I guess it was like a Devon point. <laughs> <laughs> Two players definitely makes a point, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it counts for the whole line. <laughs> it's now 6-2 to GB. Good job. Yeah, this is impressive. The Australian team is looking strong, but they aren't actually... Able... It's really weird. <laughs> nice goal. Australia are able to work their way through the GB zone initially, and then seem to be turning on the simple backhand. They take the difficult shots fine. What are we doing? They seem to be overthinking it a little bit on the simple ones. Come on now! I have Izzy Burke beside me for those that recognise the voice. Again, GB playing a little bit of a zone, making Australia swing it many times. It's an unusual choice in the Masters division, as all these players will be very experienced on disc. However, it's paid off so far. He fakes the hammer but doesn't take it. They get the same position with just a couple of simple forehand swings. Let that be a good lesson for you all. And now they're slowly gained. They're finding space around the edges. It's those big swings which gain space through the zone. They're now right on the doorstep of the end zone. Can Australia put it in? And that is lovely movement by Australia. I have to ask, is Devron the name for Devon Chevron yeah, joint players yeah, yeah. or has Josh Klein just misspelled Devon? No, that's just... <laughs> it that's is, just like, is the name. I think that's just because a lot of Devon players end up playing with Chevron, obviously, and we love them to bits. How, many, is that, how, often, how common is that? It was pretty common for a time. I think, I think it's still going on. Yeah? Yeah. Still a feeder club for Chevron. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, yes. I mean, really, that is that's true. <laughs> That, that does work quite well, actually. It's quite nice. <laughs> and again, neither Mojo nor Cows are anything to do with Chevy, really. No. So, uh, I don't know why that's come up this time. <laughs> You're just cheering for the people from both sides who uh, represented. Oh, that's true, yeah. There's people other than Devon players here. There are. I don't know how many Chevy players there are. She's a... Yeah. Same before. I think there's a lot of emo representation, actually. Has got ex-emo? There's only three people that have played Clapham as well. Yes! We move the disc forward now. Charlotte with a disc. Curved forehand that finds its way all the way down the pitch. GB looking for the quick shot to the end zone, but it doesn't pay off. It was Dan Berry with the shot, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Overthrows Paul Waite, who also known as Voodoo. This goes up. Australia, can they milk it all the way? They can! Finally, they find the gap in the GB defence, and it's long. The score is now 6 3 to GB. 6 4, sorry. There's been an extra goal. This will be updated shortly. I need to stop just looking at that and realise there needs to be time for the goal to be added. 
There we go. It's a nice quick change, this one. Let's do it again. Where we go? Cheers. Okay, I'm over. Australia with the pull now. 6-4, that was an important goal for them. Can they get another? Australia just playing hard match defence. Alea Bid just misses its mark. Felix goes long. Oh, and what a grab! Herman Kaiser kicks spikes to celebrate the layout. That's tough on the Australian team. They were marking very close. It requires a somewhat risky disc to get that goal. We like that though. We like that. That was an insane layout. Exciting for the sideline. If you want to learn to lay out, do it on beach. You can do stuff like that without a Sorry. With no consequences. Almost no consequences. <laughs> It'll happen. Just make sure you close your mouth. That's the other really important thing about that. Yeah. It is now 7 4 to GB and they take half. A reminder that if GB only lose by one, they will still take second in this group. So this is looking very positive for them right now. Australia need to go on a four point roll to get this, the, te the match back on their terms. And no one attacks the disc. Australia let it roll. GB looking, Australia look inside. Looking upfield now. GB very tight here. There's a person long, but it's gonna be a pick. Well done for all those that recognised the hand signal and realised it was a pick before I commentated for you. <laughs> Herman, that was a great grab. I got you, Bobby. Which way are we, Bobby? Home. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Left hand, now right. Australia looking upfield now. Left hand, left hand, no. Oh, and that's a lovely low release break. The Australia player stumbles. And that stumble just takes the disc out of his hands. It can be very difficult to find your footing on sand. Bobby, you gotta work harder, right? Gonna this is your offense. This is your fucking up offense. here while a lot of people walk under me. Facebook live stream? Yeah. It's very difficult. The disc went up nicely, but it weren't for the Australian stumble. I think they would have got that point. Oh. Bobby works, Bobby works, get out, Bobby, get and out! GB pulling out some layouts of their own now. Turn on the disc, however. Australia looking upfield now. Winning the goal and finding it. Australia respond with force after half. What's going on with the rest of the GB teams then? We're currently having lunch. They're, they're all having lunch and sat around the physio tent, you know, sort of chilling out. Is that the natural place for the GB athletes, yeah, the physio it, tent? Well, basically, well, basically, the GB physios found this really good place around the trees. It's nice and shady, and they've, they've gone, like, that's the, that's the congregation spot, effectively. So if you're looking for anyone, you know, like, if there's a fire drill, it's kind of where you go, over to the physio tent. <laughs> Find any nearby shade. When are we playing? We're playing USA, I think. You're, you're playing on the show pitch? Okay, tune into fancy.com if you want to see GB take on USA. I believe so. I believe so. <laughs> Most likely. When is it? Let me think. What time is it now? Uh, game time. Uh, it's hard to remember. It's the third game of the day. They're an hour and ten long. So uh, this will be the 11 20 game slot. It goes big! Yeah, boy! And goes over. Huge hammer there. Oh, no right, no right, no right, no right! Australia, I need to throw it big themselves. 
Looking inside. Around three. Follow me, Dan. Follow me, Dan. Simple swing. Australia looking inside now. Running the big shot. They're breaking GB easily, but not gaining many yards doing it. But now they're inside and they can take the yards with the open side passes. The vertical stack. One handler back, four vertical. It's really impressive how quickly the Australians gained formation there. One handler, four man yeah. vertical stack. Yeah, that was, that was really good. It looks super neat and tidy. Yeah. Okay, let's come in so we can see the game. And it's on. Swung in easily. GB not wanting to get stuck on the sideline near their own end zone. Tim! Let's go, Felix! Tim, you deepest! Tim, you deepest! looking upfield. There's not much movement. Tim, no more! It goes big! Herman Kaiser again finding himself free in the end zone. It's very interesting seeing how these players change at Masters level. Herman Kaiser for Kapow last year was much more of a handler type. But here he's just destroying the Australian team long. It's quite clear that Australia are playing tight defence down pitch and when they get to a high stall count, a player like Felix is just going to put it along and back his receiver. It seems to be working. Score is 8-5 now. As a minor time will go 45 minutes. At which point they'll add one to the high score and play to that. Avoids us a game to 13. So five quick GB points would see victory. That's right, Ozzy, you're in the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> right, back to the game. <laughs> this is the game. <laughs> Here we go, Blue! No IO! No IO! Step off! Oh! Oh! Come on, Can he bid for it? Doesn't yeah, need to. Chill! Again, Australia finding that the gap in the GB defence is deep. They're not, with, not afraid to take those long shots. Here we go, boys. Nice shot, really impressive work from them. Can be very difficult. We've seen a wide variety of shots here, and as soon as you see someone, it's tempting to just put it with whatever you've got as your grip at the time. Instead, Australia taking their time, knowing that their players have space, change the grip to whatever would be the best throw for the time and putting that instead, rather than just going for their instincts. It's the sort of thing that helps you see the experience of the Masters of Vision and what would separate them from a more amateur player. The score is now 8-6 to Australia. 8-6 to GB, sorry. Here we go, Wobby! <laughs> and it's a high, floaty backhand. It will land short, but Australia will be under it as soon as it does. Yeah, Dusty, Dusty. Watch out, Dusty. You'll be looking inside. Find the yards. Come on, come on, guys, guys, guys. And lovely, quick flow from GB. Not a difficult pass in that in that flow. Nine six now. So Izzy, which other teams have impressed you this weekend? Like who have you played against? Who's been a good matchup? Thank you very much. Just oh, wow. in the win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh, uh, well the Russians obviously have given us a really really good game. Um, they're just absolutely fantastic athletes and they've got uh, you know just amazing throws. Such huge, huge reach, yeah. big wide releases, um, which are really difficult to mark against. And they're very uh, they're very dominant, they're very um, you know, if they're going down the line, if Russian players going down the line, they tend to want to take position all the time. Oh, 
Yeah. They're, yeah, a lot of them are from the uh, Cosmic Girls team, I believe, which are officially very strong. France were really strong. France were really strong. We really enjoyed playing against them. Or I guess I was sidelining, but yes, as a team, playing against French, we really enjoyed. Um, That's nice to the see. The Latvian team as well. The Latvian team surprised us. We had no idea what they were going to be like. Um, but they were easily a team that um, we know has kept our. Oh, and that's a big shot for Australia. Game, then they could have take, they could take it from us as well. So it's, it, there's never, there's not been any games at this level that you, you're able to, to rest on your laurels at all. So which has been really exciting. So Latvia was someone that none of us had ever played against before, you know. So it was completely new to us, and none of the players were known. Yeah, I think we've we've so, noticed yes. it in the media team as well. I think there's a report out amongst them somewhere. Uh, sadly, I couldn't find a Facebook page to share it with. I don't know how you would follow a Latvian team, but Lasma on our team is Latvian. She might know. She might have some oh, context. Yes. It's possible. Was she excited to play that game then? Yes, uh, as a, the La yep, Latvian's very black and white about everything. Absolutely. <laughs> excited, not excited. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's very, she, yeah, she's very excited. Nice and easy. For those of you who are watching at work without the sound, the score is nine seven. Well, you couldn't hear that commentary. <laughs> something I've noticed people are doing. So it's nine seven to GB. Australia, Australia have been putting the points in. They've been slowly creeping out and cutting away on the GB lead. They're now playing a zone, or at least a zone downfield. And now they transition to man. A big shot. Looks big, but what a grab! But he's dropped it. Dan Berry got. Such a shame. That's such a good bid. Dan. I thought he was going to catch it like straight into the, you know, into the angle of the cone. Dan Berry, he got really big there to get that grab. But excellent spirit, just acknowledging that it fell out of his hands. So it's still nine seven. Australia have a chance to make it nine eight. They're clawing this game back slowly. Phoebe, though, looking to stop them. Australia fake the big shot and GB bite on it instantly. They don't want that to go. Goes in. Australia very flat. They want to let that deep shot go. And it's gone. Just over the hands of Felix Chardlow. He steadied himself to try and make that bid, stop the Australian just going over the top, but he couldn't quite get this, the grounding he needed. <laughs> you, uh, well, not exactly. I just happened to be on the sideline at an appropriate time to provide some entertainment. Is that correct? <laughs> How are you guys feeling? You, you, you've done well in these last few points. It's yeah, exciting. Yeah, it's kind of, this point is crucial. Strong line out there. Yeah. But you're pulling it back into a tight game, that's for sure. Yeah. Who's the player? We like to go down three or four to begin with just to make it more fun. Yeah, I can see that. Well, yeah. we appreciate that for a live stream purpose. <laughs> Australia really want this point to bring it level. It's currently 9 8 to GB. Again. Australia were playing very poachy in the middle there. The only shot available was a scuba over the top. And a miss execution gives Australia the disc right on the end zone line. Nine eight. Oh, and it pops out of the hands of the Australian player. Berwick's joining Australia, maybe kicking themselves with that later. GB wanting to convert this, not wanting to give Australia another chance. Australia now are not less poachy, they're tightened up. 
GB seeming to prefer this. Oh, and it's beyond the hands of the GB player. Again, both teams happy to get big, but it's not quite finding their hands at the moment. Open options. They are tired. They cannot keep Australia now, not in the good position they were before, but with the disc at least, they'll be happy with that. GB letting those swings go. The long shots are on. Quick good go from Australia. Flow is stopped though. There's one GB defender on two Australia players. GB just... GB just seemed to have stopped. They were Here absolutely we go, stunned. Bobby! Like I said, he put in a strong, put in a strong, um, a strong line, so. Yeah, they. We did two attempts to get it, but tight physical D caused the turns. It's now nine all. Again, GB can afford to lose by one, but they really won't want to. And Australia looking to take the victory. Big sideline! Yep. I'm never quite sure. I'm just not a fan of Owen D lines, to be honest. I prefer Owen and Owen. No, then? There can be a good purpose to it, I guess. No, it can be useful, but when you're playing a lot of points like that, it can really wear on you. And right now, GB have probably taken GB have taken a timeout. We to gather themselves. It is nine all. How are you doing, Ben? How are New Zealand mix doing? Uh, could be worse. Could be better. But I think we're three and three. We've got a we're on this pitch next against Switzerland. Oh, nice. Uh, we have to win by six or lose by thirteen. Those are the only two only two options. Very curious result. Wait, what? <laughs> we win by six, we come third in our pool, and if we do anything else, we come fifth. So uh, it's going to be an interesting game, but yeah. we, uh, we may look for tank later on in the second half. <laughs> Save ourselves for this afternoon. That's yeah, fair. Fucking excited to be here, it's good. <laughs> How's it going, Connor? How's it going, Omar <laughs> and others? I don't know who else is there. Yeah, Connor, Connor and Omar are both coming in on this, actually, so they're both following along. It's on the show game um, stream. <laughs> I saw you guys had a good game against uh, Venezuela yesterday. Um, I thought I was late for the game because I was covering the GB versus France Grand Masters game, uh, the report of which is available on the live site. But uh, they took you to 65 minutes, I believe, refusing to give up. That was, that was mostly my fault. I, uh, I put a couple out the back of the end zone through a little bit of heat, heat exhaustion. Uh, I did bail us out, but I made that game exciting. You've got a shout out from Connor, by the way. Uh, I pulled a classic Connor McHale against Venezuela, that's all I can say. <laughs> what, you started playing guts? <laughs> Not that far off, actually. I won't lie. I won't lie. Okay, we're now back in this game. It is 9 all. Australia put out a strong line last time to try and get it the turn and bring it level. I think it was 9 6 at one point. GB want to stop this Australia flow. Boys, work hard for me. Do it. Come on, Guthy. He's out of team. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. And GB, look long. Yeah, Wally. GB getting frustrated with themselves. Hey, Dan, help Jesus deep. Help. It's just the wrong curve on the disc. Australia put it long instantly. And get the goal. It's 9 all, it will now be 10 9. The game to 11. Scorekeepers? Game to 11. Yeah, it's. Game to 11. Beautiful cat. Let's go, Wobbies! Let's go, Wobbies! 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 Go, Wobb
If GB get this point, they will see Here themselves go, as second in the group. If Australia get it, they'll win. They'll come second and see themselves in a good place for the power pools. GB need a very solid line on. They can't afford to turn. Have to take sensible shots. And saying that, it's put along to Bobby Zamor. Who gets it long? What a cut! What a goal! And I believe that will be the goal that seals second place in the group for GB. I believe those are the kind of throws Bobby really likes, having spoken to him. What? Just straight out sprint races? Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep, no, I've, I've played against him. That is exactly, and played with him as well. That's exactly what he likes. He would be really, really soaked right now. Little known fact, that man used to have a seven second hundred meters on sand. It's a true story. He's a, he's a rapid fellow. He is. Um, there's a few players like him. Michele Ganache, I'd say, another player. Very, very rare to get deep receivers that just like sprint races rather than sky, sky battles. I myself am actually another, but not quite to the level of those two players. <laughs> It's 10 all and it's sudden death. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go, Jamie. Let's go, Mozzie. Let's, let's get tight on Cows. It's popped round. Australia right on the line. Come on, Cows. Come on, Cows. Come on, Cows. Come on, Cows. With him, Cows. And the Cows. Work his legs. Work, work, work. Oh. GB going big and fouling. <laughs> Acknowledged instantly. <laughs> Literally no discussion about that one. <laughs> GP very important. Oh, oh, no, no, again, man. Oh, Felix, 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 oh, stop! 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 I believe there's some sort of discussion happening here. There's an offensive foul further downfield. The Australian player pushed off Felix Shardlow to try and get his yards. Or at least that's the claim. GB though being very respectful. GB trying to get big to get the D, but it's not quite working. Australia swing it inside. GB wanting to pressure every pass now. And they look off the simple up the line put. Fight unders. Work together. Keep working, Ozzy. Keep working, Ozzy. There's another foul on the play. It is a game to 11, so this point would take the game. It goes long, and Australia with the win. What a grab. Final score, 11-10. What a game. Any comments? Great comeback, solid grit by the boys. Nice work. That was amazing. They were, what, 9-6 down at one point? Yep. Uh, so an 11-10 victory for Australia. We'll see a three-way tie in the group, which I believe GB will come out on top of. And Australia, I think, will come out second in the three-way tie, which will see them third overall. Very good game to watch. That's exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> Any final comments? Uh, highly enjoyable. Shame GB couldn't pull it all the way through. Um, but then Australians played super well, you know, really well. They seem to have the more edgy um, in, the, in the second half of the game, so... Yeah, I think um, they, he, look fairly, they look fairly comfortable to be honest with you. So yeah, it, it's important. No, like even because GB were down, like if GB were up, sorry, nine six, and Australia just went on this roll to ten nine. The grit to get that final extra point. Yeah. It's that's very difficult well, to try and stop a team. I was here at the beginning of the game, so I don't really know what Australia were like. They could have been like a little bit sleepy to start with, um, but they definitely seem to have a lot of energy and a lot of focus, like in, in those last few points. So, um, which GB just didn't have at that point. So. I think Australia suffered a little bit against the GB zone. Um, 
and then GB didn't really start playing it again, and Australia found the gaps long, so yep. ending up the critical difference. Down with it for sure, so. Excellent. Well, send these players some love, and we're going to wrap up here. Thanks for watching, guys.